Toby, welcome on short notice. Listen, I understand that senators have limited control over what happens of the land. It's going to be the state legislature. It's going to be the government that have probably more ultimate pull on what happens with drilling. But when you heard even the Democratic candidates say, I am for fracking, what was your first thought? Well, it is a sign that perspectives are starting to change in line with the American people, where over 70 percent of Americans support more domestic energy pro production here in the United States. And you've got a candidate like Dr. Oz that's not just supporting hydraulic fracturing and our energy industry is talking about unleashing American energy and that being a tool to address the rampant inflation, the unnecessarily high energy prices, the rampant uh, in, in the war in Ukraine. Um, it's really great to see candidates talking about how natural gas and American energy can be a tool to solve the energy crisis and all the problems that the world is currently struggling with today. Well, knowing what you know about the Pennsylvania state government, knowing what you know about the likely governor, at least according to polls, and whomever wins this Senate fight, do you think something will change in Pennsylvania, which is one of the richest states for natural gas? Pennsylvania and, and, and Appalachia is the region where, where it's home to the biggest gas field in the world. We have a resource potential here in the United in, in Appalachia that's equivalent to Russia. So it uh, doesn't matter if you're a Republican or Democrat, you can understand the tremendous potential that this region will bring. And what people need to understand is by unleashing U.S. LNG on the world stage, we will be unleashing the biggest green initiative on the planet, the key to energy security and lower prices for Americans. And also we'll be unleashing the hydrogen economy. We'll be unleashing our ability to put more renewables by leveraging natural gas to provide reliable backup, um, to backfill some of the intermittency when the sun doesn't shine, when the wind doesn't blow. So despite your view on energy, unleashing U.S. LNG on the world stage has, is a solution for all. Yeah, you're making an important point. To, I think a lot of people that are just basically saying, let's get rid of all fossil fuels immediately, don't understand fossil fuels, particularly natural gas's critical role in the creation and backstopping of renewables, do they? I mean, right, I'm looking at the power mix in New England, where you're from and your mom still lives. 53% of all electricity in New England right now is natural gas. We, we forget how reliant we still are on them. We could talk about 50 years from now, Toby, but for the next 5, 10, whatever it may be, this is a critical mix. Absolutely. And when you're talking about New England, let's not forget about the fact that this grid was safe by using oil to generate power during the winter. Now, that is a remarkable uh, thing that needs to change, and clearly more natural gas is needed around the world. But one thing that's incredibly important for people to understand is when solar and wind, as, as good as they are, when they cannot meet the world's demand for energy, the world is going to turn to using more coal. And in the last 12 months, solar and wind's inability to meet world demand for energy has, called co has caused coal emissions to skyrocket over 500 million tons. That amount of emissions wipes out 15 years of solar and wind mm. investments here in the United States. The, clearly, foreign coal is a big issue, and you need a heavyweight solution to address that. And that heavyweight solution is unleashing U.S. LNG on the world stage. It's going to start here in Pennsylvania and bring prosperity to Americans and billions around the world.